Hello everyone. So this video is about the important questions of management and entrepreneurship. Subject code is 21 61. So let's go to the important questions module wise. So in module 1, the important questions are define management, explain management process, also explain the levels of management, then differentiate between administration and management, then comment on the same whether it is a science or an act, then define planning premises, then explain the roles of a manager, what is planning, explain the steps involved in it, then mention the importance of planning, then define vision, mission and values with their purpose, what are the limitations of planning, explain strategic planning and tactical planning in detail, also explain single use and standing plan in detail, explain the process of decision making. So these are the important questions from uh, module 1, so you can take the screenshots of these important questions, okay. Next in module 2, uh, what is an organization, then what are the important steps in the process of organizing, then explain the purpose and nature of an organization, list various theories of motivation, discuss Maslow's need hierarchy theory, explain how it compares with 2F theory, then explain the essentials of sound control in organization, differentiate between selection and recruitment, explain steps involved in recruitment and selection procedure, write a short note on departmentalization, what are the important characteristics of a leader, give any four differences between a leader and a manager. I am sorry for the background noise. Uh, let's go to module 3. Then in module 3, uh, define entrepreneurship, explain the entrepreneurial development process and any two entrepreneurial models. Then write a short note on uh, social audit, business ethics, corporate uh, governance, explain the social responsibilities of business towards different groups, enumerate a businessman's social responsibilities towards different interest groups, discuss the problems faced by an entrepreneur and give the steps for capacity of building, uh, cap for capacity, it's uh, of capacity building of entrepreneurship then capacity building of entrepreneurship then in module 4 uh, discuss the impact of globalization in SSI in India and the role of uh, WTO then explain the objectives and uh, functions of KIADB write a short note on uh, single window DIC agency objectives or characteristics of SSI SFCs and SSI DCs disease then define a tiny unit uh, ancillary unit eou sss bes explain uh, exogenous and endogenous factors causing sickness in ssi explain the services provided by sido then in module 5 the important questions are what is project feasibility analysis explain the types explain significance of the project report list and explain the contents of a pr then explain a con explain, explain the concept and importance of network analysis explain cpm and pert in brief explain the various guidelines provided by planning commission for preparation of a report what are the major errors made by entrepreneurs during formulating project report explain the project appraisal and its method explain any two methods so these are the important questions you can take the screenshots of these and um, um, study these questions uh, all the best for your exams and thank you